Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordis Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the time frame of March the 23rd through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a mini Celtic cross. That's the uh, spread I'm doing for this week. So let's get started with your reading. First card up is the Six of Swords, River, or no, Upright, followed then by the King of Pentacles upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright, followed then by the Knight of Pentacles upright. And next, we have Temperance upright. And lastly, we have the Four of Wands. All of your cards are in the upright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret for you. First of all, for your overall energy, <clears throat> you have that of the Six of Swords in the upright position. Six of Swords points to moving on, metaphorically, perhaps. Some of you are um, emotionally getting past some situations that were difficult, really hard to deal with. You're moving past your emotional turmoil and you're moving towards calmer waters. Others of you could be literally moving in this time frame. Maybe you found a place and you want to move it and move into it right away it could be moving offices could be moving about um, a lot of people are <coughs> finding themselves in all kinds of situations these days so your um, crossing energy this is energy that will be waning in and out during this time frame we have the king of pentacles in the upright position this is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. It could be that there is an earth sign very important to you this week. This could be your spouse. This could be your boss. This could be a family member. Um, or it could be a financial ba uh, banker or advisor, a real estate agent. We do have the moving, so perhaps somebody is uh, helping you relocate uh this could be the but it, he's in the upright position he or she uh is in the upright position so this person is uh, able to help you and will be helping you king of pentacles is really good news it's very uh it, it just as an energy it's very stable it's uh very secure so whatever is going on <clears throat> if you are embodying the energies of the king of Pentacles, you're making sure you're sitting on very solid ground, or standing on, I keep saying sitting on solid ground, I don't know. Some of you, again, could be sitting on solid ground in the lotus position, and if that's the case, that's that's perfectly fine, Pisces. But you're standing on, uh, on a very solid foundation, a solid ground, in terms of your uh, finance or... Um, just instability in general. It's like the King of Pentacles is really solid, really stable. This person knows how to look after finances, knows how to look after his home, his business, what have you. Now, in the past, this is something that could have played out a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago. We do have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright position, the Scorpio card. This card has come up quite a bit um, today for the readings. This is represents endings. Yes, it does. It can, but it can also represent uh, regeneration, transformation. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? So this is uh, could be representing something that just recently happened for some of you. Some of you could have lost jobs, things like that. And that's in your foundation. Others of you transformed, transformed how you live. A lot of people are doing that right now. Have to transform how you do your daily life. <clears throat> Now, coming right into this time frame on the 23rd, we do have the energies of the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. More Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So some of you are involved with an Earth sign. And if that's the case, this person could be coming in, making an offer towards you, Pisces. Their offer is very serious. It could be <clears throat> an offer of marriage, could be an offer to move in together if this is a romantic partner. For others of you, this could be an offer, a, a job offer. Say, if you lost your job, this could be an offer of, uh, there's still jobs available, even in times of crisis. So it could be, this is a new job offer, but this can also represent an uh, offer of finances coming towards you. It can also represent an offer of apartment or home, because Pentacles do represent our business, our home, all the tangible things in life. So this is a very practical offer coming towards you, Pisces. 
It could definitely be a, a financial offer, but it could be any kind of offer, but it's a very solid one. And with the King of Pentacles there as well, you're, you know, you're on solid ground. <coughs> now, that energy moves on to the next week of uh, the week of the 30th. And then we see the Sagittarius energy here, beautiful temperance in the upright position, very healing energy temperance is. Um, it's also could be involved with the Sagittarius, it could be involved with a Scorpio, Sag, a Earth sign. <laughs> Let's go on and on. But um, this is beautiful energy. I do like the temperance energy. This is mixing and blending and having everything go well. It could be uh, even mixing opposites where it just, you know, in a situation where perhaps we don't feel we're suited for a type of job that we were offered, perhaps. And then to, just to find out that it's actually a, a good fit. It's a good blend. It's Temperance is all about cooperation and balance. Very nice, very peaceful energy too. And the last card you have up is talk about beautiful energy and peaceful energy. The Four of Wands in the upright position. This is where we have arrived to a certain level of comfort. So we are celebrating that uh, milestone. Some of you could be hitting a milestone in in some aspect of your life. Maybe you're having a quiet, private celebration. Could be an anniversary. Uh, even could be a quiet, you know, uh, marriage. Like a, just taking place in the home with a few people. Because Lord knows we're not supposed to go out there. We're supposed to be socially uh, distancing ourselves. Um, but we can um, hang out with our few close family members and friends. And of course, you know romantic interest. So perhaps some of you are doing that. Others of you could just be really celebrating the fact that you secured uh, finances for the home and the family so that you know that everything is going to be okay. You're on solid ground. This is a very solid energy. Just like the King of Pentacles, this is very solid energy. You're moving away from the turmoil and moving towards something that's really solid and really suited towards you too. Whether it be you know, you've settled in at home with the kids or the grandkids or what have you. It's just everything is working out maybe even better than you expected. And it's beautiful energy. The Four of Wands really nice. Nice way to end this read. And in closing, I will be pulling the, shh, don't tell anyone, your Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. <laughs> it's just for you, Pisces. Okay, let's see what your secret card is. Miracle. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful miracle. Are you ready for a miracle, Pisces? Oh, that just gave me shivers. That's so nice. <laughs> and also in closing, I will be pulling a Zodiac card and see what astrological sign could be prominent here this week for you, Pisces. And let's see what your astrology card is. We have Eclipse in Taurus, reevaluation. Could be a Taurus. Well, we do see all this earth energy around here. Some of you could very well be dealing with the Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. But it's, yeah, it's reevaluation. All right, so those are your messages, Pisces. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye bye.